Hi everybody, this is Liz Aaron. I'm showing today how to make a layer dough for samsa. So I'm gonna show you how I open it. And I just took four cups of flour, one and a half cup of warm water mixed with salt. Uh, mixed everything to make it a little softer dough, not too hard. And then add oil, olive oil on top, and leave it to rest for like an hour to two hours. So I did this in the morning. I came right now from work, so gonna layer make the layer dough so this way I'll freeze it and whenever I need it I take it out and make some so it comes out amazing um, the oil I use uh, for layer dough after we open it is Crisco oil Crisco oil is amazing it's a vegetable oil it has to be stiff um, you buy it and you put it in the low heat while you put it in the low heat to melt you open your dough it's very easy to open a dough if you have made it nice and soft it shouldn't be a trouble for you to open it. Just dust a little bit of flour and just open it. You see, you go press on one side and then on the other side. And it becomes like a nice round dough, easy to open. After we use this, we're gonna use a different tool to make it much thinner. If, for example, the dough, you'll see a hole or something. Don't worry about it. In this case, this is the only dough that you don't worry about the holes because we're gonna stretch the dough anyway as much as possible. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to take my hand. There we go. All right, so after this two, you can use this or you could take the longest one. Well, here it won't fit the longest one, so I'm gonna use this too. Always dust so your flour, your dough won't stick to itself. Roll, roll, roll it, roll it all the way like this and just lightly. Don't go crazy, lightly. We know you're crazy. You take all your energy on this, don't do it. Be nice to the flower, be nice to your dough. You see, and then once and often you gotta open it up to make sure it didn't stick to each other. You see, it can stick easily. So now we're gonna dust it a little more. Take on this side. This way you could turn the dough. There we go. Gently. One, two, three, four. And you just go around like this until you open it nice and thin. Just do the edges, don't touch the middle. Because the edges always end up being very thick. So out of four cups, you could get two of these rolls, or if you wanna make more and freeze it, you could make six cups and you'll get three. Three nice round dough balls. All right, now I'm gonna probably need a longer one. before you start using it, dust it, there we go, you see, and let's roll.
If this doesn't get as thin as possible, you can always use your other roller, just like that, you see? Open this baby up, you see, it's getting bigger and bigger. As biggest as you can make it, it will become as thinnest and crispiest when you make some sauce. It's very important, you see? But don't make it pepper thin, paper thin, because then, it's gonna be like a pastry though, and you don't want that. Samsa has to feel like samsa. You see, you help yourself how to open it. Now, look how thin this got. You wanna make thinner, you can, but we're gonna stretch this baby out anyway after we put oil. So, we don't need to make it too, too thick. There we go. Look how beautiful. How big. That's all you need. Now, we're going to take the oil that we melted before, Crisco oil. You see, it looks like this. Looks like butter, but it's vegetable oil. You can't use butter because we can't mix things. And then you use the oil. So. You have to make sure you oil this baby enough because if you don't oil it enough, especially the edges, your layer dough won't become a layer dough. It's a waste. Make sure you oil it enough. You could use your hands and put it, but then it's hard to open the next dough because your hands are too oily. So just use a brush, brush it through. a friend of mine who taught me this a long time ago every time I used to go to her house I always talk about her she always makes like the best samsa ever Susanechka thank you for teaching me you're the best I hope you watch this video later and she taught me and it was so simple because this dough doesn't need anything just water um, flour little salt and oil now there's two ways you could just roll the without the stick but I like to use the stick because I can stretch the dough even more you see I stretch it roll it a little stretch it you see roll it stretch it roll it stretch and press on this so the oils get everywhere See, it becomes like paper thin. Perfect, that's exactly what I wanted. As more you stretch this dough, it's thinner it's gonna get. So don't go crazy opening thing. You can always stretch it. You see, stretch it like this. This is perfect. Don't be scared to press. You see how it comes out. Once you're done pressing, you can cut it in advance if you like. You see? Or you can start cutting it and open it for some sa right away but it does need to chill at least an hour in the refrigerator before you start making some sa. I'm gonna put this baby in freezer because I'm gonna have friends over on Saturday. So I'm gonna take this out Saturday night and make fresh some sa. And it's like half of your work is done. You don't need to do this when you have people over or whenever you want it, doesn't matter. You see how it comes out? This is called layered dough. Thanks for watching me, guys. Thank you for 
sharing my videos, watching them. I make these videos for you, not for me, because a lot of you want to learn how to do traditional Bukharian food or Russian food, whatever you want to call it. So this is the video for you guys. Thank you so much. See you soon. Don't miss me.